remind me to send the latest invoice to and there you go, you created a task. Well, statistics say that we forget 50% of the ideas that we have in an hour and 90% in a week. But I don't know about you, but I think I'm leaning more towards 90% in five minutes. So I decided to fix that. I will show you how to turn your voice into Notion tasks so no idea is ever forgotten. But beware, because I may give you a very good excuse to buy an Apple Watch if you don't have one. Well, if you're new here, I'm Daniel. I'm a Notion certified consultant since 2021, and I've helped over 70 companies implement Notion for their systems and automation and AI. And here is what we will cover in this video. First, the simple tech stack that you need in order to do what I just did. How to set that up, and it literally takes like five minutes, and three other use cases that we can use this same structure for. Let's get into it. Okay, so first, which is going to be the tech stack? Number one, of course, Notion. Here we're gonna have a simple task database, which probably if you are already using Notion, you already have one. Second, we're gonna be using a tool called Voice Notes. It is this one over here. I love it because it's got apps for everything, but mostly what I use is the watch OS app, because like this, I can always have this power on my watch, which is always with me but you can also use it on your mobile. Just be aware that these are paid up and it's $14.99. Yes, $14.99 per month or $100 per year, which is $8 something per month. I have tried to find a free app, but I was not successful. We live in the monthly payment era and probably we have to just embrace it. And the reason why I'm using this app, you will see a little bit later. And finally, we need a tool to piece both together. And in this case, I'm gonna be using AnyDen because we are gonna be using an AI agent. And in my opinion, AnyDen AI agents are the best one. Okay, so let's see how we set this up. So the first thing that we need is to find a way to trigger the automation that is going to happen after I speak into my watch. And for that, we're going to need a webhook. A webhook is a URL that we can use to send information into an automation in, in this case, okay? So for this, we're gonna come here and search for webhook. And this is going to give us a URL. So this is gonna be the URL that we're gonna be using to send information to. Now, we have this ready, but now we need to find the way to send the data that we are speaking into our watch or phone into this uh, URL. And this is what I love about voice notes because it makes it so easy. So for that, we only have to come to our face, scroll down, integrations and automations, webhooks. And here we can add a webhook and this is where we are going to be pasting the URL that we just got over here. So we copy it, we paste it here, and then we choose which is going to be the event that we're going to be sending to this URL. In our case, it's going to be whenever we create a note, we want to send this transcript to the webhook. So it's only creating notes, but you can do it after summary creation, after to-do list creation, email creation, even after you add a tag to a note. And that is it, we will create it. So now this is pointing to this webhook. And there is one last thing that we need to change. The HTTP method have to be in post because we are gonna be posting information into this uh, webhook. So now let's listen for the test event. This is a simple test of a task. And here we have it, simple test task. This is a simple test of a task, the transcript and the AI generated title. Okay, so we already have it here. So now what we have to build next, I like to do this with an AI agent. Why do I use an AI agent? We want to create tasks, but also I want to add a new feature, an extra feature, which is to find in the client's database if I am talking about a client, and if so, find the client and then link it to the task that this system is going to create. But I can add more tools to this, like finding an SOP that explains how to do the task that I just uh, spoke. So the logic and the path that the automation is going to take is gonna be different every time. So I prefer to have an AI brain deciding which tools to use and which not to. So for this, we are gonna use an AI agent and the input, we are gonna define it below and it is going to be the transcript. And then over here in options, we're going to create the actual prompt, which in my case is this one. 
you're a helpful assistant who helps me with managing my clients and tasks in Notion for context. Today is, and this is the JavaScript for today's date, because remember, maybe this AI will not know which day is today. So if I want to say, and I want to do this tomorrow, he will not know uh, what tomorrow is. Yeah, whatever I send you, you have to always create it as a task in Notion. My name is Daniel Canosa, just in case you want to assign it to someone. Uh, when creating a task, the field client is only used for client Notion page ID. If no person is mentioned in the prompt, that field should be left empty. If there is a person in the prompt, but you can find him in the client's database, that's fine too, leave it blank. Do not ask for further clarification. Always use the information that you receive as you receive it to create the task, okay? So this is the instructions that I've given it to him, that I've given to him. So now we need to add, okay, which is the chat model that is going to power all of this. You can use Open Router if you have an account there, so it can choose which AI to use. But honestly, for so simple tasks, I will just use my, my ChatGPT account, and that is it. And the model for this, probably it will not really matter. Just choose a mini or a nano, which is gonna be very cheap. And that's it, because it's a very simple tool. Now, in tools, we can use Notion. And here we can create a page. If you haven't linked your Notion account to this, um, the steps are very simple. Just follow the, the steps and you will be done. If you have any questions, just write me a, a comment, but you should be good there. Now, what, the resource that we want to create is a database page. The operation is create. And then database is going to be, in my case, tasks. Then the title of the task is going to be defined by the model. And then more properties that I want to be modifying is the DO date. We don't need to include time and the date is going to be defined by the, by the model. And the client, which is an ID that is going to be created by the model. Okay, so this will be task number one. Now here is important that we give it a good name so the AI can know what this is going to be for. Create a task in Notion. This will be enough. And now we need the other tool, which is also Notion. And here, what we want is to, in database pages, to get many, because what we want is to get all the clients that we have in Notion, so the AI can choose who we are talking about. And this, I have them in this database. Limit, I don't wanna limit it maybe 100 and no filter and everything because what I want is, okay, give me all the clients that I have and then with your AI brain, choose which one I'm speaking about. And then the description is going to be get all my clients info and that will be it. Okay, so now let's test it. I need to create an invoice for today. Okay, so the request just came. Now it's getting all my client info. Okay, it's got it. Now it's thinking again. Now it's creating the task in Notion. Now it's thinking again, and that's it. So if I go into Notion, yeah, we can see that the task was created, linked to the client. Pray that there, is, there was a mistake with the, with the DO dates. Let's check. Yeah, that was my mistake because in the system message, I, I didn't see this. I have to make it an expression. So like this, it can parse all the JavaScript inside of it. So now it's got the date time right. So just bear this in mind, but that will be it. So to recap a little bit what's happened, we have created a webhook that is going to receive our voice transcript. Then we have this AI agent choosing when to find client information. And if it finds the client information, it's gonna pass it over the task creation step so we can link the task to the client and it's going to create the task according to the transcription that we have sent him. So now if we want to use this same system for more things, we can. There are three other use cases that we can use this for. Of course, they're unlimited, but I'm gonna share with you three that I have thought of. One, if we have a note or a resources database, so we can also use this to simply speak ideas that we have for maybe possible projects or whatever, whatever you want. We can also use it for our diary. Maybe we want we are writing a diary inside of Notion and we want to always be able to speak into our phone or watch what is going through our mind and then store it there. If we are content creators and we have a content idea, we can tell him, Okay, I have a new idea for a YouTube video about uh, creating tasks from voice. And it is going to create it in our YouTube database, for example. So now think of all the different places to store information that you have inside of your Notion system. 
and you can add them as tools over here that with the right description, the AI agent is going to know which one to use when. And if you need help implementing an automation like this or something even more complex and with higher ROI, like automating your client onboarding, for example, I offer free 20 minute strategy sessions that you can book in the description of the video where we can discuss your unique needs. And well, that is it for this video, guys. And as always, hasta la próxima.